as I was walking past um, one of the cars on the way to my front door, I could see a pair of eyes glowing from the lamplight um, under the car. And getting closer, it revealed itself to be a fox that was lying under the bumper. And I then saw another set of eyes, and it turned out that a cat had curled up and nestled in amongst uh, the fur of a fox. Tried to get close, but didn't really want to disturb uh, the moment that they were having. I don't know what made me do it, actually, because I wouldn't normally, but I stopped and sort of crouched down uh, as if I was calling her like a puppy or something over. And this fox just stopped. And far from doing the normal thing, which is then running off, he actually bounded over to me like a puppy and was sort of jumping up like a little puppy and, and sort of like nipping, like play nipping at my fingers and everything, which was amazing. <laughs> it was an incredible experience. One day, uh, well, there was quite a lot of earth in the garden. And I was like, what's Dad been doing? Um, but there was a big hole and it turned out um, that we thought it might be a fox. Um, we have got French doors that, you know, go outside. And my bedroom just so happens to be in this particular room. And I was a bit concerned because on the news they talked about these urban foxes um, and even um, coming into your bedroom if you kept your window open. So sadly, no more doors open in the summertime. In our garden, we've got a very old dilapidated greenhouse. There's a vine growing in it, but it's where the cat stays and usually comes in at night, but this night he'd not come in. And it was just after dusk, so we decided to go and call him. So I opened the door, I went in to see if the cat was in there. And as soon as I got in there, shouting the cat's name, all hell broke loose. And for a while I was absolutely shocked, I thought, what is this? And then I could make out the silhouette of it, and it was an urban fox. Anyway, he opened the door and eventually he got out. I first saw the fox on my way home from work, standing in front of the gate to my house, and I just decided to follow it around and chased it basically around the corner with still my shopping bags in my hands, and the fox must have thought I was absolutely insane. Um, but the next day I noticed that he'd ripped through the bins in front of our house, and I just thought that was his little way of saying, please don't do that again, but nice to meet you.